Welcome back. As more women come forward with allegations of sexual assault at the hands of Donald Trump, the Republican nominee hitting back hard, denouncing those accusers, the Clinton team, and also the news outlets that are reporting it all. Listen to this. Now we address the slander and libels that was just last night thrown at me by the Clinton machine and the New York Times. These vicious claims about me of inappropriate conduct with women are totally and absolutely false. Howard Kurtz is host of Media Buzz and is also a Fox News media analyst. Good afternoon to you, Howie. Uh, he calls it character assassination. Does that, ha does that ring true to you? Well, I think it's legitimate for news outlets to interview on the record women who say that in past years they had, where they were the victims of sexual misconduct by Donald Trump, and to interview others they confided in. At the same time, this has been so relentless, it has so dominated the, dominated the campaign coverage, it has so overshadowed any story about Hillary Clinton, including the latest uh, WikiLeaks dump, uh, that it seems to me that it has taken the campaign into kind of a tabloid phase where all these issues that were supposed to be about jobs, and taxes and terrorism and health care have basically been blown off the screen. Well, yeah, that's something that's so important. I mean, who would have thought that this would, election would have turned to allegations of sexual misconduct, whether it be with Donald Trump or Bill Clinton, instead of the issues at hand right now? You know, we're getting word that the Washington Post now is reporting that there is another woman who has come out mm -hmm. uh, that we'll be hearing from later. We know Gloria Allred, the attorney out of California, is, has some other woman uh, allegedly. But some of these other women have admitted to having been Hillary Clinton, or they are Hillary Clinton supporters. So do you take this with a grain of salt? How do you square this whole thing? Well, you know, I don't want to question the motivation of the women coming forward. Certainly the fact that they have partisan affiliations is part of the story. Uh, why are they all coming out in the final weeks of an election? I think that's a fair question. On the other hand, you know, many of them say, one of them uh, told CNN last night, this is Jessica Lees, the woman who said she was groped on a plane by Trump three decades ago, that she watched the second debate. There was the Access Hollywood tape discussion where Trump in what he now calls locker room talk was saying that yes he gropes women uh, at will because he's a celebrity and so they have felt compelled to come forward but it, 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 on the one hand maybe every single one of these women is not telling the truth on the other hand there's an awful lot of them right now and the media clearly you know and I think many media folks in the media do not like Donald Trump very receptive uh, to covering this it's kind of a scintillating story. It's good for ratings in a way that the details of who got insulted and who said what about Catholics or Latinos in the Hillary Clinton hacked emails uh, doesn't kind of rise to that standard, well, but that's also an important story. Holly, let's talk about that a little bit because uh, you look at the front page of the New York Times, for example, today, and it's, a lot of it is about Donald Trump and this scandal, if you will, whatever you want to call it, and really like not a word about, about WikiLeaks. Uh, that, and that is true in many websites. It's true uh, for much of the hours on cable television. It's obviously been covered to some degree, completely overshadowed. At the same time, I have to point out, Heather, that you know Donald Trump with these ferocious counterattacks, not just saying the stories are lies and criticizing uh, the women involved, including a former People magazine writer who says that she was kissed in proposition when she was inter interviewing years ago mm -hmm. Trump and his wife Melania, um, but by attacking the media, trying to tie uh, what he sees as the corrupt media to the Clinton campaign. There's no evidence that, that I know of that the Clinton campaign is feeding these stories and, you know, painting himself as a victim here. He is keeping the storyline going. He could move on to other issues and say, I'm just not going to talk about this anymore. I've denied it. But he is trying to strike back. Maybe that works well for his base. But that is also providing a lot of fuel for the ongoing coverage yeah, here. Certainly. Well, uh, a continuing story. And we know we'll be covering that as well as WikiLeaks this weekend. Fair and balanced. Howard Both. Kurtz. Yep.